Within Page Generator Pro's keyword system, we have an option to generate location keywords. To generate a location keyword, navigate to Keywords in the menu and then click the Generate Locations button. We'll begin by defining the name of our keyword and we can then select one or more output types and these determine the data to include in this keyword. For example, if I want to produce a list of cities with their latitudes and longitudes, I would click the three applicable options and if I'd like to also include the county name, I can select that too. We can define the order of terms and the available options to sort terms will be based upon the output type selected. In this example, because we only have city and county in our output types, there are the only two options available here. As well as the data on which to sort the terms, you can also determine whether to do so in ascending or descending order. The next set of options add constraints to the data, starting with country, which will limit locations to within the selected given country. The method, which determines how we build a list of location terms. For radius, we're given the option to define a starting city, zip or postal code. We can enter a UK postal code and then define the number of miles from this starting point to include in our results. Let's go with 20 miles. If we click generate keyword with locations, you'll see the locations keyword was generated successfully and clicking view keyword takes us to the edit keyword screen and we can see all of the cities and towns that were within that radius that we set. We can also see the output types that we selected, the city name, latitude, longitude and county name and that is reflected in each of the results here. The area method allows us to populate the keyword with locations that fall within given regions or counties. In this example, within the UK, perhaps I only want a list of cities within the county of the West Midlands. So I begin typing and I can see the option appears here. Again, if I click generate keyword with locations and view keyword, we now see a list of towns and cities within that county that have been populated in the location keywords terms. I'm not restricted to a single county. For example, I may wish to add other counties where my business operates. And again, if I click generate, we'll see the applicable results. And this time we can see we have data for cities and towns in the West Midlands, as well as Devon and West Dumbartonshire. The restrict by city option is best used if your output type comprises of zip codes. So in this example, if I would like to get a list of zip codes with their latitudes and longitudes, I will select these as the output types and then define the particular city or cities that I'd like to fetch that data for. So I start typing here and I can see the results of the cities that I want to restrict. So in this case, we'll return a list of zip codes with their latitudes and longitudes for the cities of Birmingham and London. For some requests like zip codes, because there is more data, you'll notice that the software will send multiple requests while it builds the zip code, or in this case, postcode list of results. This may take a few minutes depending on the size of data and the constraints that you've applied. And we can now see a list of postal codes within the United Kingdom and their respective latitudes and longitudes. And these will be for the cities of Birmingham and London. Another way to constrain the data is by the use of the city population. In this example, I might want to exclude smaller towns or villages that are less beneficial for SEO. And therefore I would require results with a minimum population of 500. I can also include the city population in the output data to demonstrate how this constraint works. Once complete, we then get a list of the towns and cities that meet that constraint. And we'll notice the population numbers here will always be 500 or greater because that's the constraint that we applied in this field here. For many people, they'll be generating locations within the USA, and we have some additional fields that you can include in your output data. 
So if we select city, we have not only the population, but also a breakdown of population by gender, children, adults, elderly, and the median household income. We will select population for male and female, and we'll constrain to the region of Tennessee. I can add a minimum population requirement as we did earlier and generate our keyword, either keyword, and we see now we get more meaningful data of those larger towns or cities along with their populations for male and female. There may still be some results that don't have that necessary breakdown and that's based on our data providers and where we get that information from. When we generate data within larger countries and regions such as the USA, we may find that the generated data includes areas such as mobile home parks or historical sites. One way to improve the data that's generated here is to make use of the exclusions. These are partial or full match exclusions, which means that we can enter any terms. In this case, if I add the word mobile park, mobile home and historical, this would mean that all of the cities that are generated for the region of Tennessee would be added to the keyword except those that contain any of these three exclusions here. We'll go ahead and generate the keyword, view the results, and this time we can see that that mobile home and historical result that was here has now disappeared. Again, as we demonstrated earlier, if we are only looking to target larger towns and cities, we may wish to apply a minimum population constraint alongside these exclusions. And once again, if we do this and view the results, we then get more meaningful data. Another useful output type is the Wikipedia URL. You may want to include this in your location data if you later use the Wikipedia dynamic element. There's a separate video covering that element, but essentially what it does is fetch data from Wikipedia for a given keyword term. In this case, it would be our city. To ensure a more accurate match for that dynamic element, we can include the Wikipedia URL here. And again, if we generate our results, view our keyword, we now see that for each of our cities and towns that we've generated, we've got the applicable Wikipedia page as well. We can use this later on with that Wikipedia dynamic element to tell it the precise Wikipedia page to go and fetch data for based on the applicable city listed.